What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we had the review video of this Brex cooler that I got directly from the website Brex.com. And you guys can go ahead and check the description. I have left the link there for you so that you can view this item and learn more about it. Now, I remember that growing up as a kid in Puerto Rico, that was around 1995 and 1996, a lot of people were building these at home, but of course they didn't have the same technology. The speakers were a lot bigger and you know, they were built at home, so you know, it didn't look as professional as this one right here. So when Brex contacted me on YouTube and said, hey, we want to send you this item, I didn't hesitate to say yes. And that's because it brought a lot of memories as a child. And this is actually really, really good, guys, when it comes to quality and the build that they use is definitely worth it. If you guys go right now, let's say to your local retail store, I'm pretty sure that a cooler of this size is going to cost you anywhere between $70 up to $150. And if you get a Bluetooth speaker, it's going to cost you a decent one. It's going to cost you $150 up to $200. So this uh, cooler here comes with everything included. You know, you get a nice build quality, you get a nice Bluetooth speaker, and it's only $199. They do have three different designs. As you guys can tell, they have the one that is black color. They have the one that I have, which is stainless steel, and also they have the one with the window on the front in case you want something even cooler, but remember that you're not gonna get the speakers with it. So on the front side here, we have two different speakers. We have one on the left, one on the right. They are exactly the same size, and I'm pretty sure that later on I can upgrade it with even better speakers if I wanted to, even though these are definitely okay. Um, also, we got a latch here. It's all made of metal, and we have a handle on top made of plastic, and that's because you guys know that with any stainless steel product, you're going to get a lot of fingerprints. So they thought about adding a handle, which is definitely a plus. And let me tell you guys, I cleaned this about a week ago and I still don't have a single fingerprint on it yet. So on the back side here, we find the two hinges and they come with automatic stoppers. We also have the auxiliary cables for your speakers. We find the two LN screws. And then here we have the container so that you can store your amplifier and also your smartphone. And you guys can see the holes are right here on the inside. And basically all you have to do is just place it in like this. Then you can adjust them with the Allen driver included inside of the box. And then also we have the auxiliary cable in case you want to connect it directly to your amplifier. And finally you have the amplifier itself. It does require four AA batteries and I would definitely recommend that you guys use high end batteries like I did. I have Duracell installed on here just so that it lasts more and the quality of the Bluetooth gets even better. If you guys use cheap batteries, it's definitely not going to last as long. To get started and get the amp hookup is very easy. As you guys can tell from the back side here, it's giving you the information of what everything is. You have the power key, the first thing you see here on the top side, and then we have the um, charging port. We have the power LED light. We have the two speaker connectors right here, and finally the auxiliary cable that goes in in case you want to connect it directly to your smartphone. So let's go ahead and get started here by connecting the two speakers. Likewise, then we turn it on and now it's going to be on parry mode. I believe that I have already the connection set up on here, so let's go into my smartphone. Now we go here into Bluetooth, and there we go guys. It has finally connected, as you can see right there, from my smartphone. So everything is set to go. Let's go for the testing, and hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. I never let my God go down You mess me up when you came around when the heart No, you needed space But I don't wanna wait I don't wanna miss it A few thousand miles In an ocean away But I see the sunrise oh, oh, Just like the other day Picture your eyes Cause as I fall asleep Tell myself it's alright oh, oh, As the tears roll Well guys, there we have it for the testing of the NCS song, which is no copyrighted song that I use, and hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, but of course you can play any music, any type of music with this particular cooler, and just keep in mind that it's not going to have a lot of bass due to the fact that we don't have a radiator built into this, and also doesn't have a subwoofer, so for that reason the bass is not going to be the strongest point about it, but the voices and the mids are very, very good. 
and overall guys I'm enjoying this especially now the summer coming up is going to definitely be a great tool to have around and of course it works as a cooler just like any other cooler out there you just put your beverages inside put ice on it and you're all set to go and it has a little drain on the side I forgot to mention it in case you guys want to have the water being released like any other cooler out there so again this is a very good and convenient product to have around especially for $199 but this being said, if you guys have any questions, you know exactly what to do. Just leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on my next one.